Shri Gurubhyo Nama Good morning viewers In this video we are going to see the effect of Raghu on different ascendants Right from Aries to Pisces we are going to see different videos Each and every video we are going to see about the placement of Raghu in different houses and its effect Logically when Raghu is placed in a house exactly the 7th house Ketu will be placed Considering these two planets we will see based on the ascendant, that is based on the birth chart of a person we call it as Lagna or ascendant how the effect of Raghu will be if you are new to this channel keep this channel subscribed so that you will get my videos immediately once I post it also you share with your friends and group as per the Vedic astrology Rahu and Ketu are invisible planets they always deteriorate they move in the anti-clockwise direction once in every 18 months they shift one house to the other house in the anti-clockwise direction so the effect of a permanent Rahu and Ketu in a person's horoscope it depends upon the placement against the ascendant or the Lagna Lord generally Rahu and Ketu do not have any specific house or they, they don't own any house rather they take the power of the house from the placement of the house Lord so Rahu and Ketu will act as the house lord of the particular ascendant in case if Rahu is placed in Aries it will behave like Mars and if Ketu is placed in the house of Libra it will behave like Venus as these two planets they are invisible planets dark spot we call it as Rahu and to an extent Ketu is not so dark it will have a light emitting capability where whenever there is a Grahana when sun is being covered by Rahu, you will have complete darkness. But at the same time, if Ketu is responsible for the Grahana, solar eclipse, there won't be complete darkness, there will be a, a light shadow there. So in Vedic astrology, Rahu is considered as the most dangerous planet when compared to Ketu. Ketu is Moksha Karaka or Jnana Karaka and Rahu is a Boga Karaka which gives luxury, happiness, prosperity in life. At the same time Rahu is a planet which also kills a person. It destroys all the luxury and it makes a person to come down to the street. Now, however big is, based on the placement of Rahu and Ketu in a person's horoscope, it is very tough to determine the effect of Rahu and Ketu. But there are certain houses where Rahu can definitely give good results. Same way there are certain houses where Ketu can also give good results. Example, Rahu getting placed at Aries, Taurus, Cancer, Virgo as well as Capricorn. All these houses, it gives some good positivity. Irrespective of whether Rahu is placed in a positive way or negative way, but if it is placed in these houses, certainly it will give some good results. Same way, Ketu is getting associated with the houses of Jupiter like Pisces as well as Sagittarius and to an extent at Virgo as well as Libra it can give some positivity. The upper circle from Aries to Virgo all these houses to an extent is favorable for Rahu and the lower circle from Libra to Pisces seems to be favorable for Ketu. Generally if Rahu and Ketu are getting associated to the 3rd house or the 6th house or the 8th house or 10th house, 11th house and 12th houses for a particular ascendant it can give better results than being placed at the other houses Capricorn, the 10th zodiac sign as per the Kalapurusha Tattva for Capricorn if Rahu is associated with the first house the house seems to be a good place for Rahu generally if Rahu stays in the first house as well as in the 7th house it gives equal benefits in both the houses so for Capricorn both the partners husband and wife can get good support when Rahu Mahadasa comes because the first house as well as the 7th house it gives equal rates to the native of the chart so generally when Rahu is there in the first house it is better to have a partner having Rahu at the first house or the seventh house so it will give a lot of benefits when Rahu Mahadasa comes see the native will get good assets during the Mahadasa period they can win any challenges they can support the family well there will be good health Rahu Mahadasa can help 
get them to travel different places. So a lot of positivity could happen. If the festivals is associated with the positive planets like Jupiter or Venus or rising moon, the benefits will be even much better. If the festivals is negatively conjected, the ill effects will not be that much. To an extent, they could be able to cope up with the situation. Because in this house, Mars gets exalted. Saturn is a ruler. So the negative planet association with Rahu will not do much harm. Rather, it can give them a lot of benefits also. Now, if in second house, if Rahu is associated, it should be positive. Otherwise, there will be some negative impact. Supposing if there is a negative Rahu, if Rahu is associated with uh, Saturn or uh, Mars there, then the native will cultivate a lot of bad habits. Generally, is a is a drunkard person. He will talk in a wrong way. He will not be honest in his speech. Even in his family life, there will be a lot of problems and confusions. Whatever the wealth he is possessing during the Rahu Mahavisa period, he will sell out everything and uh, he will be in straits. So, a lot of negative things might happen if second house is not positively associated. If second house is positively associated, then the native can win out of any challenges. He could establish his family life well. There will be good understanding with the family members. His communication can fetch them a lot of benefits also. If Rahu is there at the third house, Pisces, it's a good house for Rahu to stay. And generally in third and eleventh houses, any planets associated to the ascendant, it can give a lot of positive. If Rahu is there at the third house, they can get good support. Their hard work and efforts can yield them a lot of good results. Some may travel different places. Due to their efforts, they can travel different places. Even in business, it is because of their own efforts, they could be able to establish and spread their business in different countries. So they can earn a lot. So when Rahu Mahasa comes at the middle age, somewhere between 30 to 60, the native can build a lot of assets on his name. If it comes in the early age, the parents will get good credits out of that, the native's uh, chart. If in fourth house, Aries, if Rahu is associated, again it is a good house for Rahu to be there. And generally in Kentra, if Rahu is there, it can give a lot of support. In terms of building assets, the native can purchase a lot of assets during the Rahu Mahasa period. Some may get interested in construction business and they can earn a lot. Some may even work in medicine, medicine related areas. So it will be very positive. Some may even invest in share market and other financial sectors and gain a lot. If 4000 is negatively conjected, so they may face certain problems in terms of their assets building. So if they try to purchase any assets, they will face certain complications and problems. So they need to get the support of the poor to solve certain verdict. If in 5th house Taurus, if Rahu is associated, again it's a good house for Rahu because generally in Venus house, Rahu will not do much negative impact. So in the 5th house, there will be good support from the children. If Rahu is very positive, there will be good support from the children. The native children might study well. They will be in uh, arts and sports. Some may work in film industry due to which they get good, good name and fame. The native will get childbirth on the right age when Rahu Mother Maharasa comes on the right period. If 5th house is badly conjected with uh, Saturn or or mass, they will face certain problems in terms of the children's support. So, there will be delay in getting a right birth. So, some negativity could take place if fifth house is badly conjected. But negativity will not be so much because it is the house of Venus. If in sixth house Rahu is there, it is good for Rahu to be. They will be free from loans. Even if they will lend money to others, it will come back to them in time. They can win out of their enemies. So, to an extent, the sixth house should not be too positive or too negative. In such cases, they face certain health problems also. Seventh house, again, it is a good house for Rahu to stay. There will be good support from the opponent, especially if a person is having a positive Rahu at the 7th house with the Jupiter exalts there or Venus associated with the Rahu, then they get good support from the friends, good support from the life partner as well as through business. So there will be a group of people around them. If you take in the native's career of the native's education, the contribution from the friends will be even more. Even while building, if a person is married, they will get good support from the wife's side. If a native is a female, they get a good support from the husband's side. They could be able to purchase a lot of assets during the Rahu Mahadasa period and it will be very comfortable and easy going. If the seventh house is badly conjected, too badly conjected with uh, Saturn and uh, even if mass debilitates and uh, getting associated with Rahu, in that case there will be problems between the couples. There will be problems with the friends also. But to an extent, if the moon is very good, the impact will not be there much. In eighth house, Rahu is associated. It is not a good house for Rahu. It should be positively conjected. Otherwise, the native will get a lot of mental stress, health related problems, blood pressure and other tensions when Rahu Mahadasa period is going on. Even they face problems and challenges in the workplace. They, they will not be in a position to complete the work in time. There will be some health related problems also. There will be some expenses. If eighth house is positive, while Jupiter aspect the Ethos or Venus is there associated with the Ethos. Then Rahu Mahasa will do a lot of good things. They can invest in share market or any financial sectors and find a huge gain. Some may even 
get lucky prizes investments in lottery tickets and other gambling can also help them to gain a reasonable amount if in ninth house rahu is there the house virgo is good for rahu to stay there will be good support from the father and father side family if the ninth house is positively conjected the native might get good assets from the ancestor side there will be good support from the father side family the native will be lucky there will be some good events taking place uh, during the native's career in case of his studying he will be able to get good schools and colleges even if writing exams he could able to find the questions very easy so the life will be easy going but if the ninth house is badly conjected then he may face certain problems so he may not be lucky He rather he faced tough times with their father side family even the assets is not so easy to get they need to fight with their brothers or sisters to get their legal rights so a lot of negative things could happen if in 10th house libra to an extent it is good because it is house of venus so the native can get good job opportunities when it comes in the right age i may enter into film industry and shine well they get good name and fame during that period so when it comes in the younger age it will spoil their studies if the 10th house is badly conjected with saturn or mars then the native may not study well when it comes in the early age there will be lot of wrong habits wrong friends if it comes in the middle age the native might find problems in the workplace so there will be understanding problems with the seniors so they may not enjoy the work they keep on changing the work there won't be any job satisfaction if 10th house is positively conjected then the native if is a in the age it rahu mahadasa comes he'll get a dream job in time and he can scale up well in the job career and could be more successful in his career he may travel different places if he enters into any arts and science related field he is in, in film industry he'll join in a very low cadre and become a superman in rahu mahadasa period person can get good name and fame in 11th house scott if you are now is associated it should be positively conjected otherwise the native will find lot of expenses he may not get good support from the elder brothers and sisters there will be problems in the married life or so you won't get good gains in business so whatever the business is will be doing there will be lot of losses if 11th house is positively conjected with uh, jupiter or venus then the native can get good support and profits investments can yield them good profits if a person is working in a company he'll get good promotions incentives increments everything come in time he can build up his assets by investments he can enter into any financial sector and gain a lot so a lot of positive things can happen now if 12th or sagittarius rahu is getting associated it's a good house because it's also jupiter so next ten for uh, the native of capricorn if rahu is getting associated with the 12th house they will get short journey to foreign country so they go to any country do a task and come back so they don't get a long journey but they keep on getting very short journeys and very frequently generally person like a medical representative they have this particular a type of chart because they keep on going to different countries different places the travel seems to be the key part for them even those working in travel industry or uh, logistics industry they travel in different places so it will be more possible if 12th house is badly conjected even then to an extent it is good so they get travel but there will be some losses some may find expenses due to health related reasons and other unexpected expenses so by this time if you are a capricorn ascendant based on the portion of rahu you will be in a position to understand whether rahu mahadasa can give you good results or not in our next video we'll be seeing about rahu's impact on aquarius ascendant